Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com and welcome to Bali again. I'm right now in a place called Amet on the east coast of Bali. Beautiful location by the sea. Magnificent coast, right? The topic for this video is uh, Tantra misconceptions. Misconceptions about Tantra, Tantric sex, polyamory, sex in general. You know, when you are in the Tantra field, very often there are lots of projections, things that people believe about uh, Tantra, Tantric sex, being a Tantrika, Tantrika training. And I want to clear a little bit the air and uh, give you some frame so that you understand what I'm doing and what other people are doing in this field. So the first thing is that there is a big distinction for me. Everything that I'm going to say is my own interpretation, okay? These are not necessarily universal truths. I don't ask you to believe what I'm saying. I don't ask you to, uh, to be on board with me with these truths. If you have other beliefs, that's all right. What I'm going to give you here is really my own set of experience and what I practice, okay? So the key word here are Tantra and Tantric sex. They are two different things. For me, the field of Tantra is really, really vast. When you ask someone in the West, what is Tantra? they will associate Tantra with sexual practices. You go back to India, those two things are not merging at all. So uh, let's put that into perspective and uh, I will tell you how I feel about it. Sex is part of our lives and Tantra for me is a path of life mastery. So sexual energy is part of the system and it's part of what I teach, but it's not necessarily something that, re that takes control of everything. So the vital sex part or the tantric sex part that I teach represents maybe 10% of the overall teaching that I have. And in this 10%, you know, you could spend your whole life on it. You could dive into this practice and really explore, explore them in a great depth. So if you are focusing on uh, tantra as a sexual practice, the distinction that I make is that I call that tantric sex or vital sex for me because I use the, the vital word or the vital brand but uh, you know it's two uh, separate things the other thing is that um, there is also an overlap between uh, tantra and uh, polyamory and again those two concepts are very different polyamory means that you have multiple sex partners that's what people usually understand with the word polyamory and uh, again this is uh, doesn't it's not true at all you can be a tantrika and uh, be uh, totally sexually exclusive be married be in a committed relationship with somebody or you can be a tantrika and be totally sexually inactive you can practice tantric sex without having sensual exchange with somebody you can practice um, and you can be uh, polyamorous without engaging at all into anything that has to do with uh, Tantra practices. So um, in, because the, the communities overlap a little bit, we tend to merge everything and believe that everything is the same and it's not at all, you know. Uh, so I want to make that distinc distinction to, uh, to clear the space a little bit and for you to, to simply understand a little bit this, these concepts a little bit deeper. So I'm going to use the terms polyamory and monoamory. Monoamory means that you are focused on one person. The moment you start sharing uh, sensuality, uh, sexuality, that you uh, start engaging in intimacy with more than one person, if it's in a period of maybe a month, then usually that the term polyamorous uh, starts applying to you. If you are really in an exclusive relationship, and uh, you are, for instance, married or you have been with that person for at least a few months and uh, you're not sharing intimacy with anybody else, then you are what I call monoamorous. I use the term monoamorous rather than monogamous because uh, it seems to be a better reflection of the term 
uh, polyamory. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that's all for this introduction. What I'm going to do next is that I'm going to dive into the different aspects of these distinctions because there are a few really core mindsets that I would like you to understand. Why is it important to understand these distinctions? Because then you understand better how to relate to, uh, to this field, how to relate to this community when you meet somebody and that person tells you they are uh, tantricas or in tantrica training then you will have some associations which are a little bit more uh, aligned with what they're actually uh, practicing. Okay, that's it for now. Uh, I will start with the next video in a second.